Uh, good afternoon, I am David Burke of Burke Family Farms, and I am the Fig Hunter. Checking out this tree that I'd stumbled across last year, growing on top of concrete. It's just one of them cool stories. Back of a business, whether this just appeared, there are other seedlings in the area, or whether this was planted, this tree has been here a minute. And that's pretty cool. It's not really thick. Let's see if I can find the fresh fruit. Last year, I believe I only found one. This year, I just found something that a rodent ate. Um, here's what they look like. Here's some more. There's little pictures. question I guess I just thought it was cool the way it rooted is whether or not this tree is a female so the texture is kind of interesting so let's continue to talk about ground layering. So often do I find trees that what I'll actually do is try to harvest the branches that are already rooting themselves. Now, if you have suckers at home, you can do this too. Cover them with this. I think this is just a, a damp media. Remember, this is on top of concrete. Has this been composting and breaking down for years? Yes. Is this one in one drop of soil? Yes. But all it is is falling on top of the tree branch. Yeah. Is what they call a sport. Instead of growing up, they grow down. Okay. See? That is all flesh roots. Um, most of us would look at this tree and say it's a relatively small tree. And again, I was really thrilled to find this last year. There's one. The idea that big trees can grow on bedrock with very limited dirt has been shown true where I live. But also, because it's just cool. It's just pretty cool. So here are some other figs that appear to be a little to the right. So yeah, it is a female. And here is the old trunk that you can see has been cut down time and time again. It's grown into a pole. The tree is actually grown into the pole. And if I get down there, and I did this last year. And you see I'm having to fight my way through branches without breaking them. Look. 
that's concrete. There's the base. So to understand this more, this isn't a big place that this tree grows out of. It literally grows out of a small, small piece of the concrete. I exposed this concrete last year all the way around just trying to disturb all these roots. There's your crack in the concrete. First, it like gets a little bit bigger, but first started this tree. It's pretty cool. And you could say, hey, hey, David, um, you said earlier that you weren't sure if it was a seedling. You're right. I'm not. But what doesn't make sense is I can get in here and continue to find concrete all the way around this base except for a small crack to me that's just too cool this is the adventure of fig hunting this is what makes it special is not only the fruit, but finding just things that boggle the mind. My friends, I can't explain it. I just think it's pretty darn cool. This isn't like a hole that somebody planted a fig tree. And if it was, that just doesn't make sense. Um, we can see the crack, the split with roots coming out of it. And it's where this post is. So maybe a varmint, a rat. A lot of these figs seem to be eaten by um, rodents. And there you go. You've got a fig tree hidden here and the back of a building for how many years? Thank you for watching Fig Hunters. I am the Fig Hunter, David Burke of Burke Family Farms. And please like, comment, and su subscribe to our channel. This is very important. This week starts the beginning of a month of giveaways. And one of the items that we're going to be giving away will be cuttings from this tree. So how you are entered into the contest is, first of all, you have to be subscribed to um, Fig Hunters on our channel. Then you have to make a comment about how you think this tree started. Pretty simple. So, um, thank you.